So guess what? We finally have some good news. Yes, it's true. And when I say some good news, I truly mean some good news. Now, I'm going to get to this good news in just a second. But what I want to tell you is that this good news also piggybacks off the, the, the bad news. So I want to break down what's going on, give you all the facts, give you everything that's going on so you can make the best decisions for you and your family. Now, here's all I ask from you. If you can spend just two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and we will get started. So what is the good news? Well, the good news is that grocery prices are falling. That's the good news. The good news now is that grocery prices are coming down. Food is becoming more affordable. It's not taking up uh, you know, so many uh, families and households uh, you know, income. That is good. That's really good because for the longest time, we have seen food prices continue to rise. Eggs went up 70%, right? Uh, meat continues to get more expensive. We've seen shortages. Again, a lot of issues here. But for the average family that spends more than $1,000 per month on food, this is very good because this now means you can put more money back into your pockets. However, and here's where things get a little bit interesting. So why is food becoming more affordable? What is going on here? Well, here's the thing. Is food becoming more affordable because uh, you know the manufacturing is just getting less expensive? No. Is food becoming more affordable because the ingredients that we put into these, uh, these items, that's coming down? No. The reason why food is becoming more affordable, which is a good thing for most families, the problem is food is becoming more affordable because we now have an abundance of it. But why? Well, guess what happened last month? SNAP benefits ended their uh, emergency allotments. That was that $95 boost. Well, that ended in 32 states last month. That's one of the big reasons. Another one is that Americans have less money due to having lower tax refunds this year. Another issue is uh, you know some other prices have increased. So when we spend more money on things like utilities, on rent, on car payments, on fuel, guess what? We have less money to spend on food. So if we have less money to spend on food, which means we can't go and buy all these items, guess what happens? They sit at the store. And when items sit at the store, guess what happens then? The stores have to lower their prices in order to sell the food. So this is good news if you have money. The bad news is if you're on uh, SNAP benefits, if you're on you know EBT, you know food stamps, the problem there is your income has actually declined. So even though food prices are starting to come down, your income, okay, your benefits have come down as well. Again, that's a major problem. Now, I wanted to confirm that this is what is really happening. So I actually reached out to a few friends of mine, got a couple responses from them, and this is what a couple of them had to say. So one person says, and I quote, yes, we are seeing more food sit on the shelves for a little bit longer. In fact, our clearance shelf that we got rid of during the pandemic, we had to bring that back because now food is reaching its expiration date, which means we have to sell it quicker at a much lower price. I've seen this. You go to a store like um, Big Lots, for example, and uh, even the local Big Lots that that you know I have around me, uh, you know all the stores. It's pretty much the same thing. Previously, you'd have a very small little shelf, and that would be their clearance item. You'd have cereals, you'd have pastas, and you know you know think some canned goods, things like that that were close to their expiration date. So they're selling it at a discount, usually fifty to seventy-five percent off. That was great. Well, guess what? It's not just one little shelf anymore. Now I uh, went into a Big Lots uh, probably two or three weeks ago, and in in this store had four shelves of clearance food. Clearance food. That's crazy. Even when I go into a local Albertsons or a Fred Meyer or Safeway, they before they had one little shelf in the back of the store. That was it. 
And I remember, I think last year or two years ago, I told people, you can go into these stores, ask their managers if they have any food that is hitting its expiration date that they're gonna throw away. Some of these stores will actually give you these items, okay? They will put them in a bag and give them to you. That, and so you can go and take some of these items off their hands, which is great. Other stores will actually donate them to you know, food banks and stuff like that. But again, this is one of the options that you have. But now you walk to some of these stores and it's not just one little shelf, it's like two, three, four shelves of food just packed in there. Some of it's candy, right? You know, we just got done with Valentine's Day. Well, you know, like a month ago, but or whenever it was, but we got done with Valentine's Day. Guess what? There's a lot of chocolate, a lot of, you know, stuff that's shaped in a heart. Again, we're going to have Easter pretty soon, and you're going to see the same thing. And another friend of mine had this to say. He says, and I quote, It's crazy to think about food items not selling. There was a time just last year where we couldn't buy enough supply, and now we don't know how much to even purchase. But based on our current orders, we will have a lot of extra food which we will need to be marked down in order to sell. I would anticipate our prices will drop 15% this quarter. People aren't buying what they used to buy, and that is what is really causing these price changes. And again, I've said this before, when we have a limited supply of products, prices are gonna go up because demand is still up. Demand for food is still at an all time high. Here's the thing though. There are some families out there, especially lower income and middle income households, lower to middle income households that are struggling to pay their bills, pay their rent, their mortgage, their car payment, phone bill, whatever. And so at the end of the month, there's some families, some households that can't afford to purchase a lot of food. So what we are seeing, our prices are coming down. But again, the prices for food coming down. The issue though, is when your wages decline, your, okay, your income drops, right? You get, uh, let's say you get a wage cut, that's a problem. You get less hours. I talked to somebody just the other day who was normally getting about 48 hours a week. Now, he's only getting 35 hours a week. So 48 hours, 40 regular, eight overtime hours, pretty good income. Now he's losing his eight overtime hours plus five regular hours. Again, it's just a complete mess. It's just a complete mess. So just keep that in mind that anytime there's good news, chances are there's also some bad news. And that is what we're seeing today. So I just wanted to fill you in on what's going on because I know a lot of people have reached out over the past week or so, especially on some of my older uh, food videos saying there's shortages, prices are increasing, and uh, they come out and put a comment you know, months after, you know, one, one person put a comment on a video that I did over a year ago saying, stop lying to us. You know, food prices are not, um, are not increasing. There's no shortages. As of right now, no. Food prices, I don't see increasing on a lot of things because we are now seeing that there's more food at these stores. Here's the other thing. One person that I talked to today, um, just this morning, and he, he didn't give me a comment, okay? But he does manage a grocery store. One thing that he said, and he didn't give me a comment about the question that I asked, but one thing that I said is his concern is when his store is going to go through this uh, you know, cycle of less sales, what's gonna happen is they are going to experience layoffs, okay? So as grocery stores start to experience uh, less sales, they're going to start to lay off some of their employees. And here's what's gonna happen. It's gonna create a ripple effect through the entire economy. So like I said, this is good news that food prices are coming down. They're coming down right now, but there's a reason behind it. And the reason behind it could actually hurt millions and millions of households. So just wanted to fill you in on what's going on right now. Please, if you could, let me know. Are food prices going down in your area? And let me know what the clearance food shelf looks like. Is it getting bigger? Is it getting smaller? or does your store not even have it? Let me know down in the comment section below. But again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.